Welcome to On The Go Chicago Sports, where we talk Chicago sports. Thank you for tuning in to today's video. We are going to talk some Chicago Bears, um, continuing the position the position group outlook. Uh, we already talked about the quarterback room. We just recently talked about the wide receiver and tight end room with Vic and Carl from the Windy City Digits. So, Make sure you go check out their content. They talk White Sox, Cubs, Bears, and Bulls. Great content. And make sure you check out that episode as well. Uh, it was a uh, great time having them on. Hopefully, they come back in the future. And I got some more guests coming soon for these position groups. So just stay tuned. Um, and I want to say thank you for everybody who hit that sub button, who've been tuning in to the, the live streams in the channel. I appreciate you guys. We are almost at the goal of 300 subscribers, subscribers as I put for the start of preseason at the regular season at, at best. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that sub button and tune in. Go check out the, the, the old content, uh, some good stuff there. And... For the future, we got some really banging videos coming out soon. So, best of both worlds. So, after all that, let's get into the topic at hand. We are, are reviewing the running back and fullback. Yes, we got us a fullback this um this year room. So, I got with any video. First topic: confident meter. How confident am I in this group? I am really confident. I am high on this running back room. And I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section where your confident meter at from 1 to 10. Matt is at a 9. Um, I'm really confident in this group. Just by watching them last season, I believe we did not really run the football as much as we should last season. I believe if we, if we would have done that, I think Justin Fields would have had a, a, a even better season. But constantly, Nagy got away from running the football. Um, so that's why I'm confident in this group. And, of course, the offensive line was one of the best run blocking offensive line last season. So, and I think that's still not going to change this season. So, barring any major injury to any of these guys, I believe we're going to, you know, do the same. Uh, we got Montgomery, Khalil Herbert, Ebner, uh, Evans, Tugs, and um, Blasting Game. So, that's that's all the running backs and fullbacks in this group. I believe we will start off with just, you know, Montgomery, Herbert, Ebner, and Blasting Game. And the other two may be practice special teamers. Uh, so I think those four will be the main guys. Expectation. My expectation is high. I'm not even going to lie because I believe we're going to be a run-heavy team. So by being a run-heavy team, I got some high expectations. So I my expectation, one, is I want this group to be in the top 10 rushing uh, this year. I think I want to believe last year we finished – top 15 i'm not sure somebody go and fact check that but this season i want us to finish top 10 in rushing i believe we got the talent to do it i believe we got the i believe we got the scheme to do it and i believe we we will be a run heavy team um so yeah top 10 in rushing and david montgomery and Khalil herbert will be one of the best uh running 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 back duos next season as well as far as stats, I got David Montgomery rushing 1,200 yards, um, eight touchdowns, and I got Khalil Herbert with 600 yards, four touchdowns. I even tossed in Ebner with 250 and a touchdown for himself. So that's kind of my uh, stat stat line prediction. Bold prediction. Um, my bold prediction is Trapston Tra Tra Ebner will – uh, have over 500 total yards. I believe he will be utilized in the receiving game. 
and I also believe we will see him in in some games this season. I I do believe he will rush for about two fifty, and I got him at at least. 250 receiving yards as well. I do think he's gonna play a really good role in this offense, uh, offense uh, on this running offense because I believe it's not gonna be just Hammer David Montgomery. I think they're gonna lower his low just so he can play for the whole season. So and I believe you're gonna see Herbert and more, and I and I believe you're gonna see Ebner in as well. So I think it's gonna be a a uh, running back of committee, but David Montgomery is going to get most of the share. Breakout player, like I said, my breakout player is Ebner. I think uh, Herbert broke out last season, um, and I think Montgomery already broke out. And I think Ebner going to be that guy that going to turn some heads this season. Like I say, he got uh, a great skill set. He's quick. He can find the 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 the, the empty holes and get to it. And once he find a hole. The quickness he could just take off. Also got great hands, so I believe he's going to be utilized a lot in this offensive um, scheme. So I, I I do believe Abner will break out. Not going to be something fan like out of this world, but it's going to be something that um, next offseason Bears fans going to feel comfortable about. You know, even more comfortable about this running back room, depending on what happened with David Montgomery and his contract situation. And if something happens to Montgomery, we can feel confident in Ebner and Khalil Herbert. So that's kind of a breakout, uh, what I mean. So before I end this, I got a couple of rapid fire crush questions. Uh, I you know I want to go over with you guys, and I do want to see hear you guys' opinion. So make sure you comment down in the comment section. Number one, over or uh, under 200, uh, 2200 uh, rushing total yards for next season. I'm going over because, like I said, I believe the, uh, we're going to be a run-heavy team. Last season, we finished with 2,000 rushing yards. I believe we can get more than that with the with the talent we got in that room, uh, especially if you add in uh, Justin Fields. So I believe we 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 steamrolled past 2,200 yard, rushing yards total. Next up. Over or under 12 total touchdown for rushing. I'm going over. Last season, we had 14. Uh, you know, my, Montgomery has a knack from getting into the end zone. Uh, I believe Justin Field will find his way of getting into the end zone as as well. So, I I think we're going over on that. As, uh, who scored the first rushing touchdown? I'm going David Montgomery. I think David Montgomery gets in the end zone first. Uh, last but not least, will Kyrie Blaston game get a touchdown, which is the fullback? So, will the fullback get into the end zone? I'm going yes. I think we may we may get one or two touchdowns for a uh, Blaston game. They may do some kind of um, run a play for him. He may at the at the goal line. He may squeeze in for a touchdown. So, I'm going yes. He will get a touchdown. So. Uh, I guess that that's it. Uh, like I said, it's not a really a big running back room. Uh, we pretty much know what to expect from Montgomery, Khalil Herbert. I pretty much expect what I expecting good things for Ebner as well. So I'm, it's not going to be a long video because, like I said, only what six 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 players in this, in this room. So. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. How confident are you in this running game? Throw, throw out some bold predictions as well. And the rapper questions. Drop your answers down in the comment section. I will be down there commenting, um, chatting with you guys. And make sure to hit that sub button to, to, to uh, be, on, and be on the lookout for more content. Uh, coming soon, real soon. Well, thank, you for tuning, thank you for tuning in On The Go Chicago Sports with me. I'm checking out. Peace. He want me to go out.